Fabiano Caruana trying to extend his lead. In round board number two, we have a crucial game, in my opinion. Yeah. Which Shakriar Mamedarov will show up today? He'll be playing against Wesley So. Meanwhile, Hikaru Nakamura, that's a big one with the white pieces. Can he get another win and start putting that pressure on Fabiano Caruana? And he will be playing against Lanier Dominguez, Dominguez, who led after round one, after day one. Yeah, but yesterday's day was just was terrible, terrible for him. Peter Svidler versus Shanklin, uh, Lee and Zhang round out the field. Three key defining games. Which way are the players going? Shaq and So, Nakamura, Dominguez, and uh, Jeffrey. And this has been a mercurial player in this tournament, mm. having some amazing luck against Peter Svidler. <laughs> that was just out of this world. We will not forget that game for a very long time. Neither will Peter. Neither will Peter. We were like in a parallel universe. Which Shaq will show up? He has been all over the map. Yeah. It's remarkable he's at 50%. This is actually a defining moment for him, this game very uh, much so. If he can win this game, he can right the ship. Absolutely. What are they playing for, Alejandro? It's a very nice bonus, $50,000 bonus to the runner-up in the Grand Chess Tour and $25,000 for third bonus money very nice cash and let's remember that's why this game is so important right shock and wesley are currently second and third in the grand chess tour standings right behind mvl who has an extra event on them right so it's important for them to finish ahead of each other absolutely and uh, everything will of course be determined in our fifth and final leg of the grand chess tour the synchro cup which is coming up immediately after this event but i hear you Whole heart is doing. It's a whole two points in the lead. You can't. You can't. Hello. <laughs> you can't ever forget about Fabi. Doesn't matter which format or time control. He has had a terrible year. I yes. think that's also affecting. Like, why didn't we choose him? Right. Right. He had a terrible tournament in Sochi. He didn't do well in Bucharest. He actually dropped out of the 2800 club for the first time shocking forever yes shocking as we see uh, the game is underway between Shaq and Wesley so these days Bishop before the Rogozin uh, uh, has been the go-to and d5 takes c4 also the Vienna v very theoretical uh, dispute after e2 e4 and away you go I have on my screen uh, the game between Fabi and Richard Rapport, by the way. Fabi, our tournament leader, I always like to show respect. Uh, highly topical position. I think, again, I, I, I believe it was Fabi on the black side against Levon Aronian. Candidates crazy. of 2018. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great game. That a was very, a very, very defining important and a, uh, yeah. moment in the tournament, too, I want to say. And yeah, of course, I think that that was one of the defining moments of chess history, like who was going to play the next uh, world championship match. As challenger, As yes. challenger, and I think Levon losing with the white pieces against Fabi really opened the, the doors. doors. Yeah. Completely. And, uh, do we know much about this specific position? Again, the players are playing theory uh, quite dare I say it, fluidly up to this moment, and everybody's got their engines at full blast here. Yeah, I don't quite remember mm -hmm. uh, all of all of these games. Normally, this line with queen a5, queen b6 is not played that often, mm -hmm. but it, it's getting some traction to just move the queen out of f6, because if you go all the way back, um, yeah, into these kind of positions, there is still some possibilities of creating problems mm -hmm. on the king side. And people have figured out that instead of developing my queen side like normal people should do. Yeah, knight c6, b6, bishop exactly. b7, and get going. Right. Instead of developing normally, they play instead. They start moving the queen out of d8, so they have room for the rook. And they kind of realize, well, sometimes actually this knight is not well placed on c6. Maybe I actually need to defend with knight d7, knight f8. Gotcha. So I'll also play rook d8 and then something like bishop d7, bishop e8 to solidify that, that position. Also kind of defending the pawn directly with the rook. Right. But unlike what you just said there about putting the knight on f8, in the words of Bent Larson, when I have my knight on f8, I don't get made it. Or bishop e8, and I think that's going yeah. to be another one of the of the critical. We'll keep an eye on this and turn it over to Maurice. Uh, what do you got for him? Uh, well, attack something. <laughs> knight e6. Knight e6, and I will return the favor by attacking something. I'll take a rook because rooks are worth more than bishops. And the knight will be trapped. That's okay. okay. But now, how do I 
because queen takes c3 yeah. out of bishop d4, right? It's that's, an important resource. That, that, is exact, that is the most important resource, yes, that uh, you do get a chance to win back a knight. Just a second. Yeah. I feel like I've got something very convincing here, but I... I think, just Yasser, not, yes. before you just go into this kind right? of stuff, sure. let's go back to rook fd1. I think that it's just easier to just go e5 here as black. I don't see why you wouldn't. Uh-huh. Because the knight doesn't have any good re squares. Squares to retreat. And mm -hmm. this is all very nice and very exciting, but we really do have to get to the shock game. Let's do it. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> this it's is huge up. for the standings. It's a huge game for the Grand Chess Tour standings. Whoops. And things are blowing up in that position. Whoa. When we left it, we left it in what we thought was heavy theoretical right. dispute territory. Let's mm -hmm. put it like that. And the last move when we left was this move knight on e4 back to g3. Uh, such a retreat not only signals that this is coming, but even more important maybe that the bishop d3, mm -hmm. queen e4 is on white's agenda. Well, bishop d7, do your worst. Shaq says, you know what, pawns are important. Pawns are important, but not only and that, it's I a get a rover. Lifted. I get a rover as well. Uh, this is an attack for free now. This is starting to get very, very serious. Bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, knight c6. G5. Whoa, this almost reminds me of Fabi's G5 that he yeah. essayed against Sam. Yeah. Maybe not the terrible move, but that's not a move that comes naturally to top grandmasters. G5. This, uh, I, no me gusta. I just. Ooh. <laughs> this looks ooh, bad yeah, for it black, looks right? Terrible. <laughs> looks terrible. The, the engine saying that it's slightly better for white. Slightly, slightly better for white. What? I mean, you got to oh be on some. Oh my gosh. I don't know what drugs the engine's taking, but. Nobody Slightly wants this position with white. the black with the black pieces. This is insanity multiplied. Look at this. I mean, what? I would assume so weak. H4 e is coming. Every, this every. I, I think we would all lose our grandmaster cards looking at this right. position. Right. Say evaluate this position, please. And we say, oh, it's only a little bit better for white. Okay, fail. Get yeah, out. Next. Yeah. Uh, no, That's no, insane. No, no I, think, I think I think no GM would give it like less than plus two. But exactly. maybe this is the advent of computers. People are just defending so well. It, How deep has? You think this How is prep? Deep is no, it's not about the prep. the prep. It's just that people have figured out new ways to defend. People things that used to seem like they will just not hold at all. You mean like exposed kings? Exposed kings. A lot kings, of pieces like your king five, side. Right. Moves like h4 coming. Exactly. That's not important anymore. <laughs> what? Uh, by the way, instead oh, of no. rookie one defending the pawn on e4, Shaq said, "Look, I I'm just gonna go get you knight f6 check. I don't want to take." that knight and invite the queen uh, to f6, so I'm assuming king g7? I assume so as well. I don't think there's another squ uh, square for the king. On the other hand, I do have a knight takes e5 threat. That here. is a very <laughs> telling uh, moment, isn't it? Uh, I can still play rook e1, because after knight takes e5, I think I have knight h5. So right. that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, does he want does he want to play queen g3 Alejandro with the idea obviously of sacrificing on g5 trying to invite black to play something of this nature I mean at this point I mean I the king will, is running it, right? <laughs> uh, the king could be running but I I mean when you play knight f6 you don't necessarily follow it up with rook e1, right? I mean, you, yeah, you, queen g3 looks very compelling. Like I'm he sorry, want, if you, you, if you walked over to a, in a tournament hall, you like, who's <laughs> up, you'd be like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody looks like an accident is going on over here. here. You're like, like, look, look at this one. Look at this. This is good. This is good. Yeah. Like, this is good. He's gonna die. He's gonna yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. Right. Bring your coffee. This is yeah, yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> right. How can he possibly be alive here and yet? Uh, that's what the engine says. That's say. what the engine claims. We'll see. That one's percolating. We'll see. Visually, we were thinking, oh, oh knight of six, check, king uh, at g7. I wanted to play the move queen g3, g3. to sacrifice the, the rook on g5. But this is even better because it holds the f6 square as well. Right, and you don't have to go the into that variation we were looking at. So right, king right. takes f6. Queen, uh, this is what we call cave matchup. 
<laughs> it's brutal. I, he wants to he wants to sacrifice on G five. Wesley said Rook H eight. Yeah, covering H4? the G eight square so that you cannot sacrifice on G five. Yeah, let, let, let's make that clear for our audience. Uh, if, for example, Wesley had played the desirable Rook to D four, hoping something good would happen. Oops, and there is a mate here. And if you go king to h8, there is a mate on h6, as I'm just showing you here. And if you take the rook, well, then there's a mate in both cases, either on g8 or on h6. So that was why Wesley played the move rook h8. And once you, once you play h4, you mentally, the game's done. But it's not... Not when Over? you're playing Wesley So. Not when you're playing Wesley So. Takes. And now Rook D4. Queen H2. And we're up to date with the players. Well, how do we evaluate this? White is up a pawn. That pawn on H5 is really weak. The king is weak, but... I'm a little bit confused by... Well, E5 is hanging. Rook takes. Queen takes. Knight takes. E5 is one possibility, possibility. that uh, black may use as a, a way to resist. He is hitting this bishop. Uh, if I want to scramble to a much inferior ending, I can even consider the move queen d4. I probably not play it like this. But it's not completely cut and dry, no. Alejandro. It's not cut and dry at all, actually. Yeah, over to you, Maurice. Yeah, you guys are right. And I'd like to point out uh, this line that's just so indicative of why chess is so hard. <laughs> I mean, okay. Just, okay. Chess is so damn hard. It's an incredible game. The point is, this piece guards this square, right? And we saw that play itself out as Shakriar tried his attack. Right. Wesley was able to use the strength of the D4 square to get some kind of defense fashion together. Right. The crushing blow here B5. is B5. Crushing. Like, just get, your, just get the knight away. Knights hate to be destabilized. They, when they're doing work, they want to stay where they are. Don't, don't move unless you're going to a much, much better square. They hate to be destabilized. They often have, find it very difficult to get back into the act. Where does this knight go? You can tempo the bishop. It looks like straight attack on the bishop. The bishop now moves. Maybe d3 would have been sensible. No, you would have been tempo. The bishop just backs up and says, we're going to sit on this position. Now we're going to play h4. And when h4 happens, you're going to feel some pain. There's going to be a whole different type of position, rook d8 cannot be met by this move h4, and there's no rook d4 coming, mm -hmm. there's no challenge right. to this position anymore as this move b5 has created a problem. If you play knight to b3 so you can get back this control, no cookies for you. d4 is not going to happen. This is just the lockdown. It's pure lockdown on the square. Now, this is still not over, in other words, easy over, you're still wondering, you know, it's going to be visually, <laughs> but but it's dominant. It's a right. kind of dominant position you want. You send the knight over in some crazy land. You might lose it. It's it's so funny looking, but this is hard to see. I mean, this is the check your pockets kind of line. I don't know. B five very compelling for Pretty, every reason you mentioned. Yeah, but the other destabilize the knight and push H4 it to the rim. So but on the other hand, though. as we mentioned, H four and you just H4, tell yeah, the guy to sign the score sheet. Yeah, right? please. Yeah. H4, but how many of us would not play H4 versus B5, one, understanding the power of it? What one great uh, story, uh, Victor Korchnoi uh, was playing uh, Grandmaster uh, from Qatar, I believe. Samodiaki? Yes. And after a move like H4, um, as Victor's opponent was thinking, thinking, and Victor, excuse me, do you speak English? And yes, I do. Why haven't you resigned? Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> that's a rather awkward question to be asked <laughs> while you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. H4 visually looks really, really good, but it's not completely convincing, at least to my eyes. After H4, we do have rook takes d4, queen takes d4 on the board. I'm thinking knight takes e5. And Alejandra, still work to be done here. Can I take on h5, or is that just asking too much for my position? Let's have a look. Uh, I get two pieces, but you get g6, right? I do get in g6, which is quite nice. And your threats, because of the mate threat, I have no choice. I've got to play ball. And 
I'm a little bit worried that you might have some series of checks to pick up my I can't, night. I just can't make it happen. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Uh, you would think there's some kind of sequence where the queen right. picks up the knight, but I, I yeah. don't see it. He's instead opted to trade the queen's much, much safer approach By with the move queen d4 you had mentioned d4. Right. I thought that this was going to be a pleasant ending for white. How much better it is, I wasn't sure, but I... I yeah. thought knight takes e5. Maybe he was afraid of this g6. It, it's possible, idea. right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, your king is so exposed and so many pieces hanging. We did see a very quick trade. And knight takes d4, d4, rook d1. Rook d1. Unexpecting but rook d8. Oh, you already played? If this was uh, preparation, mm, what kind of preparation? Who wants to go into an endgame of pawn down? Certainly not me. And uh, Shaq's. Shaq's looking really good here. There's still a lot of work to be done. There's right. work There's still a lot of work to be done. Remember, it's opposite colored bishops. True. So a but lot of hope there still for that last Wesley. move. That last move, by the way, allowing knight takes h5 with check. Yeah. Uh, very slick move because it it introduces also the its own threat, right? Knight f3. The knight f3. The knight f3 threat, and you can't play f4 as white to stabilize things. That's the, the critical thing. If you could just... Well, let, let's just take a quick look at that. Uh, knight takes h5. You don't want to move king h7 because I can deal with the knight f3 check threat with the gain of tempo by bishop d3 check. So I'm assuming king g6? Am I making a correct assumption here? Yeah, king oh, g6 yeah? looks very logical. I can and play knight I go f4. Check. I keep taking. And now I... I deal with, ooh, well, I mean, it I'm feels, an extra it feels, pawn up, but I, this is active and this is active. I, I don't like this, and actually, yeah. Mark didn't like it either. either. He wanted to move king f1. I think that that is a much more reasonable. Yes, yes. I was going to say same, but. Immediately h4. And immediately h4. Not so a lot of work here for Wesley to keep up the position, but let's okay. jump with Maurice to the game of Hikaru Nakamura. Is he Wesley showing the art of defense Seriously. and surviving this position now. Which is huge. Which it is, is huge, huge for the really tournament. Really Again, yes. huge. And for the Grand Chess Tour, as <sighs> these two players. Uh, Maurice? Yes. Maybe you were right. About what? About Fabi. What? Did what? you see the last move by Richard? No. No, I, we haven't seen it yet. We're watching this one that looks like it's that's a quickly draw. turning into a draw. A quickly. Draw Let's get back to the way. action game yeah, and what is going on in the other game. I mean, even if he... And Wesley's and game is Wesley over game and a draw is a draw. expected. Sam is still playing, but I want to take a look at how he got himself... He literally got himself mated. Unbelievable. Yeah. Literally made on the board. 